Uh, let's talk about communication uh, because I think that's another critical piece of resiliency and being able to push your way forward. Because obviously there's that internal piece of communication. We've already talked about that. But there's also the outbound piece and being able to encapsulate and express how you're feeling and, 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 and share that and, and, and trust that the person you're sharing is going to be receptive to it um, and, and all of those pieces and parts. And I think it's twofold because I want to look at this from both sides of the fence. One, we were just talking about the social media piece. And that has really, I think, impacted our young people's ability to communicate because everything now is actually mm -hmm. preferably done through a text message or something mm -hmm. versus having a actual verbal interaction. So they struggle with that piece of it when they have to be face to face. So I think that's a critical component of it. And then just in general, whether it's while they're in school and you have a teacher and that was the teacher's role. And you think about when we grew up, if you really had a challenge, you had a certain teacher you trusted that you gravitated to, you could go talk to them, you know, and express what you're thinking, what you're feeling, et cetera. I don't think there's a lot of that that happens today. And I don't know if that's because the receiver side is more closed or the deliverer side doesn't have the skill set and the comfortability to be able to push it forward. So what are your thoughts on just communication from that standpoint, especially when we're talking about getting out of your own way and just being more resilient and being able to push through? The, the image that came in my mind was um, I used to do uh, I, I used to teach um, Chicago students uh, theater and storytelling. Speaking of the hero's journey, uh, I would be brought in as a, um, you know, not a volunteer. And they, they, they paid me to do it, but they would bring me in to uh, teach these skills, communication skills, storytelling skills, writing skills. And I hated it. I absolutely couldn't stand it because the students, they didn't want to learn. And the teachers allowed them to not want to learn. It was it was wild to me, and there was always justification for it. Mm. And I can I mean I could see why. It's like once you get demoralized, what can you do, you know? But at the same time, I'm like, who allowed the demoralization? Because mm -hmm. again, the, the the kids don't know. Right. They, they you know there is a symbiosis between two, teacher and student at whatever level there is. So, you know. You, you you have to go to the one again accountability you have to go to the one who has the most responsibility and has the most authority but in those situations i found that the teachers um they had all the responsibility but had no authority and the students had all the authority and no responsibility and um but all that said as i was there i found the diamonds in the rough and those ones, man, I was their biggest cheerleader. I was like, oh, yeah, keep going. That's awesome. Good job. You know, even despite the fact that the rest of the classroom is just like hovering over in like dark shadows. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was it was hard. It was hard for me because it was like I was every day. I'd just be demoralized and just saddened by the, the kids that wanted to learn who weren't who were in terrible soil, if you will. And um, communication, uh, communication, it, it, having the freedom to express yourself is important. And if, if, if people learn that expressing themselves um, is going to be demonized or shame you know they become quiet and 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 um and they either bottle it up keep it to themselves and i don't know if y'all know this but when you don't when you just have all your thoughts to yourself you'll go crazy <laughs> if you don't let the like you're constipated and you can't release you know you're, you're going to be stopped up and so and it comes out in pretty you know it can come out in pretty un unconstructive uh, unconstructive ways deconstructive ways um so funny enough yesterday i i i 
I'll, I'll be honest, like the last couple of weeks, I've been kind of um, depressed about what's going on in our country. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, I, I don't know, I, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to a podcast yesterday and, and like halfway through the podcast, they were like, we need more, we need more cheerleaders. I was like, oh, yes, that, I love mm-hmm. being a cheerleader. Yes, you're right. Like we need more cheerleaders. And they, the way they described it was this, they said there, there was this MMA fighter who one of his favorite things in the world is seeing somebody who has never, who has never um, lifted a, a weight before. He's never, he's, you can tell he's never uh, worked out before. It's one of his favorite things in the world. And he'll run up to him and give him a high five. Oh, welcome. You're awesome. Blah, blah, blah. You know, hey, five pounds. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Right. And like teaching him like personal records and all that type of stuff. And I was like, I was so inspired. I was just like, I want to start an improv troupe here in my small community. Because me, I'm an, you know, I'm an old theater guy. And um, so I was like, if I can start an improv community and just get a bunch of new people in, I can cheer them on and hopefully they get that resilience and skill so they can, their, their friends will be like, what's going on with you? What's, you know, and they, they can be lifted up. And if you lift one up, you lift at least two others up. Right. And so on and so forth. And so, um, you know, what, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But I think the whole communication thing can only happen if the people around you, foster that allow you to express yourself you know and feel what you're feeling and all that stuff and, and teach you how to identify what you're feeling and stuff like that yeah no it's excellent thanks for sharing that and, and that's so true and as you were talking about just observing uh you know as a citizen of the country and just what's going on and um kind of feeling like sometimes your hands are tied trying to figure out how can i best impact or help to make a difference, right? Uh, as you said, being a cheerleader is, is a great place to start. And like you just mentioned, you do it for one, which does it for two, and hopefully exponentially that continues to move itself forward. 